These are strange times, strange circumstances, a strange situation. God is saying, don't be surprised. Look back through my scripture and you will see over and over again strange circumstances arising and God reaches in and extracts his bride, his remnant over and over again. He delivers his people from strange circumstances. God is bringing to mind the exodus, the escape from Egypt. And they didn't just escape from slavery, but they took the treasures of their oppressors with them. He's also making me think of Lot being extracted from... I'm trying to remember the city. Sodom, was it? That situation, that scenario was, was, God is saying, that situation was extreme. What was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah was intolerable to God. And that's why he focused on a very small location geographically and destroyed it, wiped it from the face of the earth. But the extraction of Lot and his family from Sodom was strange. It was unusual circumstances. And what God is highlighting is that he did that because others were interceding for Lot. He did it because he recognized that Lot was righteous. He did it because Lot was important to God. And so he made that exception and he reached in. He's making me think of Rahab when the walls of Jericho fell and it's been found in the, in the ruins of Jericho that, that there was a portion of walls still standing when that calamity brought down that city. Over and over again, we see strange circumstances and we see deliverance for those who are willing to forsake their lives for Jesus, for the gospel, for inheritance, for eternal importance, for the, for the kingdom as plain as it gets, is for the kingdom. And so when you take off your shoes and submit to God everything, when you submit everything to God, no matter what, and you see that shaking coming as the earth is rolling all around you, threatening to bring you down, you can stand in full confidence knowing that your hand is in the hand of the one who made you, and he's there to protect you. He's there to keep you. And when you come out the other side, not only will there be no smoke on you from the fire, but you will shine with God's glory. Hallelujah. Not every prophetic word is for every person. Take every word before the Lord. Prophetic words are not intended literally. This video does not offer expert advice. If you would like to sow a seed, invest in original art, buy prints, or connect to a thriving prophetic community, use the link in the description box below the video. If this video blessed you, you might like to share, like, and subscribe. Holy Father, I thank you for placing this video before those you intend to receive it. Amen.